Welcome to Smoked Out TV Reactions, where we elevate your viewing experience with a little extra buzz. Join me simply talking as we light up, chill out, and dive into the wildest reactions on the web. Get ready to blaze through entertainment like never before on Smoked Out TV Reactions, where high reactions meet high times. Simply talking. Welcome back to another episode of Smoked Out TV Reactions. And this one here, man, you know, we, we're checking things out and everything. And uh, you got Wack 100 in the room with uh, Big Chuck talking about um, Deuce M's is mentioning his lawsuit, which don't even make sense because you don't even have a lawsuit. All you have is text messages. And that will be shown in the next video clip by that girl Henny. Hashtag ETE. <laughs> you can't hold us back, man. All you're doing is bringing us forward. You constantly lie to your team, man. You sat there and lied to all these people on stage. I'm going to make sure I let everybody hear it. And I'll make sure I change your voice so you won't try to strike me. I'll make sure I give you the nice little Wakisha voice. So you can sound like a little, little hoe that you are. You dig? <laughs> but check this out, y'all. I want y'all to listen to CS2 back, Wack 100. And his little, um, his little minions. I don't, I don't know who this other, who this new dude is, uh. Rich Dollars or whatever. I don't know who he is, but damn. That dude came out of nowhere holding on them nuts. Like, what the? <laughs> Where dude from? Rich Dollars is your name. She'll be rich, whack, rich, rich on whack nuts. I don't understand you dudes, man. I hope you ain't nobody that we know, man. And you done flipped the script. I don't know how, I don't know how this dude be turning y'all out, man. Y'all grown men, over 35 to 40. Y'all grown men. And y'all let this man turn y'all out with lies. With lies. Look at Keep It G in the background. Well, my bad, Keep It Gay. We ain't calling him Keep It G no more. He, he answered to keep it gay by Baltimore. So for now and on, whenever y'all see him anywhere, make sure y'all say, keep it gay. Because that's what he is. So let's get into this audio. Again, y'all know they crying like little babies because we burning their ass up. He, he gonna be whining it. Man, all they do is talk about me. They been talking about me for all this time. So what? You talk about everybody. <laughs> You've been talking about Big U for the past four years. So what's wrong with you? Weirdo ass dude, boy. You's a weirdo. But uh, let's get into this audio, man. Y'all have to excuse the nut hugging because he got a lot of them up in there. Oh my God. Too many. So what about this uh, $5 million lawsuit? What time? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what somebody's supposed to do. Oh, they they got a five million dollar loan. They're suing you for five million dollars. You and World Star, bro. You and World Star and you two. Yeah, I don't have nothing to do with World Star. So, hold on. I, I, been, I don't post no more. I don't have nothing to do with World Star. <laughs> That's because we're not. I'm about to say we're my bad dudes. That's because he's not suing World Star. He sued the media team, whoever them people are, whoever runs World Star, dummy. So, so, what are they suing me for? How about that? They said it was something I had to do with some copyright abuse or something you did in respect to that uh, the documentary of that CS2 back, whatever that deuce name was running. 
What are you talking about? That's my life. I ain't talking about it. That's what they call niggas about. is weird, bro. How is that your lawsuit? Hmm? This is a copyright lawsuit. Not a, a fake defamation lawsuit that you got. So how's your lawsuit? Man, I can't wait till Henny come in and show ya. God, the nigga telling me about my lawsuit that I filed. What the fuck are you talking about? And that's why I was like, damn. That's my lawsuit that I filed. He said five million. Now he saying you gonna hold him five million. Yeah, he said you gonna hold him five. Okay, well I got you. <laughs> you what, what, you ain't see that they was running that. Bro, they can run what they want. This is the real life. See, y'all gotta stop being so slow. Tell the nigga to show you the lawsuit. Oh, that. I can show you my lawsuit. No, he showed, he showed some shit, bro. I just show, show your lawsuit. You gonna send Chuck a bunch of texts. You ain't got no lawsuit. Show you the court, man. He showed some shit he made up. Yeah, he showed some shit. He like, yo, <laughs> you know, you know, you me? Me? how you suing me for my defamation of care suit against? Hey, listen, this was crazy. So, let's get us right. Dude, M's is suing World Stars? He's suing you. World Stars? That means him and then you didn't fall out. That's a good, good to go. If he's suing World Stars, that means him and then you didn't fall out. That's, That's what you think. <laughs> That's what you think, but we'll let you believe that. <laughs> That's his relationship, his World Stars. That's great to know. That's over with then. If that nigga saw a world star, that means his relationship with Big U was over with. Oh, that's oh. See? Now look how you only concerned with his relationship with Big U. But yet and still you keep saying people keep talking about you. No matter what we talk about, you always bring up this man's name. And ain't never gonna pull up on him. Fucking retard. His relationship. Who knows? They could have just put that out there as a play. Ain't no telling. Bro, it don't. That's where the math don't make sense. He leaning on Big U to do some things. World Star's Big U's relationship. I can show you the paperwork where my attorney tried to put Big U in the suit. And I wouldn't let him do it. So I don't put niggas' names in paperwork. But the company, and it ain't even World Star. That's how I know he capping. The company's LA Media. You can't sue World Star. World Star's owned by LA Media. Hey, what? Got... That ain't even the name of the company, but we gonna let you get to it. Hey, you send that shit to your lawyer. It don't matter. I mean, you can send whatever you want to send. <laughs> but the company's LA Media, bro. You can't even sue World Star. Hey, I wonder how they got to the number five tickets, though. No man, it's it gonna make. Shit, the way they got to that number, because you look up his, uh, his net worth, as y'all see on the um, thumbnail, y'all look up his net worth, he's only worth five million. So, do some like, shit, I might as well just take it all. He don't need it. <laughs> five tickets off the video? Fuck out of here, bro. I nigga talking about his ass, bro. That's what I'm saying, y'all be like, these niggas ain't got nothing to talk about, so they say anything, because they know some niggas to talk about anything. Nigga, that's content. He got you just running content. He got to be because I was in his fight. That ain't my type of content, bro. I bet you this: if I brought my suit shit, it's gonna be very, very real. Boom, 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 boom. You got LA Media World Star saying, "Okay, we have investigated, and yes, we're pulling it down. <laughs> we see that Mr. Jones is not named in any of these allegations." Boom, 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 boom. Come down. Yeah, my nigga had your name up there. He had some shit where he had showed you had pulled it down. Uh, he had, he had, uh. Damn, you got his nigga over there. This the same nigga that went make fake purple one, right? That's it. Yeah, I got you. All right, all right. Yeah, you got him. We make fake paperwork. I was waiting for you to get to that. So, all y'all out there listening. All y'all out there listening. Use your fucking brain. Use your fucking brain. So, if Deuce Ames and WAC 100 is beefing, how could Deuce Ames sell him 
some fake paperwork. He just said do sales make fake paperwork. And I, like I told y'all in the last video, show me who put out the paperwork. Show me who paid 2K for the paperwork. Now, I'm I'm challenging uh, CS2 back. CS2 back. I'm challenging you, since you always challenging people for money. I'm challenging you, 10K, to show where Deuce M put that paperwork out. And I don't talking. I ain't talking about how you bought the paperwork from Diamond. We talking about show me where Deuce M put that paperwork out. And I'm not talking about what you paid for. Because you put that out. Fucking weirdo ass nigga, bro. Like, you put that shit out. Fucking idiot. And y'all, and, and then you got, you got Chuck over there talking about, yeah, man, I told him it's, it's forever after they put the fake paperwork out. Chuck, I'm, I'm betting you too, nigga. I'm betting you too, Chunky boy. Cheeseburger Chuck. I'm betting you too. 10K. To show me where Deuce M put out this paperwork. Because you dummies took some paperwork and put it out because Wack has a vendetta against Deuce M's. And he was just so happy to have some paperwork to say Deuce M's got knocked out and beat up or whatever. That he ran across the hashtag ETE. And we exposed you fucking exposers. Put you bitch ass niggas down. You paid that money. Then you try to come back later. Oh, well, you know, we got a kitty. We got a kitty. Man, all them niggas broke. They broke. Demon time showing what it is for real. Weird ass niggas. I did say that though. But, uh, and Chuck did say that, that whenever some shit comes up, it's going to have his credibility in question because of that fake paperwork. The first one on the two for five million, you got to justify five million. Oh, it's justified. Wait till Henny come on and break it down for you. It is justified, idiot. No, you know that fake paperwork she got them niggas, man. Forever. She ran fake. No, the fake paperwork got y'all forever because y'all the ones who put it out. Y'all the ones so happy when it came out. <clears throat> Do Sam ain't put no paperwork out. Uh, I think Diamond sold that paperwork. <laughs> I think Diamond from Bloodstone Villain, aka the Crip, <laughs> sold uh on Pyru, Mr. Wack, that paperwork. And Mr. Wack was so happy that he sent Mr. Diamond 2K. So how the fuck did Deuce Ends put out this motherfucking paperwork? So, um, if y'all take my, if y'all gonna take me up on my offer, which I know y'all ain't, because y'all lost already. But uh, Chuck and 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 back CS2 back 10K. I'm ch I'm challenging both of y'all niggas the 10K to show me where the Deuce Ends put this paperwork out, and then. I'm gonna try, I want to bet y'all another 10K that I can show y'all with, with who, who put the paperwork out. Let's go. Paperwork on each other. That's what put everything in question. But I don't know who this girl Henny is. But uh, somebody don't want me to mention her name. It's never gonna happen. Oh, uh, she said you did oh, mention her. She is. said you said. I ain't mentioned that woman name. She said you said that she's a dog. Or yeah, you better not mention her name. You scared, nigga. You terrified. And let me tell you, let me tell you straight up over here. Ain't nothing gonna happen to Henny. Just like ain't nothing gonna happen to none of the team. Cause yeah, with the difference between us and y'all, we we gonna pull up for real. You knew Deuce Sims was in California a couple weeks ago. You've been talking all this shit about him him being in Wisconsin. For the past four years, you whole ass nigga. But he comes here and he gets on Chuck's stage 
and tell you, or ch somebody's on Nisha Kim, Chuck, I don't know whose stage you was on, but I heard him on the stage telling you to meet, meet him in your hood. And what you do, passive aggressive ass bitch ass nigga, you start telling the niggas on stage, oh he lying, he's in Wisconsin, he's in Wisconsin. And then go back on a whole nother audio and say that Big U is using Deuce Ams and Yael to pass out the book bags. You just told on yourself, you fucking idiot. So you knew he was in California. Pussy. Pussy. I ain't never met to that woman. I don't know the woman. That's Deuce Ams attempting to get me to mention somebody's name I don't know. I don't know nothing about it, but I will talk. But what I will say is this. It's a few people that do know her. She right over there in New York. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Don't blame me. I don't know her. Whatever happened, happened. That <laughs> this nigga watched so many movies. So many movies. So you insinuating that somebody gonna do something to Henny? Hmm? Like you tell like you tell everybody, right? It it only costs fifteen hundred. Dog, that shit is played out now. Everything you saying is from movies, bro. You be talking like you fucking watching The Godfather and shit. I heard you tell somebody the other day that you was at a table at the table with the with the crew one time, and a nigga pinky had to come off. What the fuck is that, boy? Weird ass nigga. Had to be had to be one of them cruise ship hits or something. I don't know who that lady is, bro. <laughs> I don't know. That's the man. That's what I don't care. Once we come know on a cruise ship, <laughs> going to I ain't never been on a cruise ship. We come on. I'm trying to figure out, man. This, I've never been on a cruise ship in my life. I'm just, I'm just... Yeah, you did. Gene Deal said you'd be on a cruise ship when they tried to take your wife from you. When them New York boys was pulling up on your wife and you was terrified. Fuck up, boy. You just full of lies, bitch ass nigga. Boy, shit with the cool shit, but I'm just like, where does lady come from? I don't know the lady, bro. It's clout. I am the Drake of the internet. I am the Drake of podcast. Bitch and whack name if you nobody. And I surrender. The... Nigga, you the chet of weird signs. If anybody know what I'm talking about, nigga, you the chet of weird signs. A big piece of shit. Porky. Fuck you. Teacher, they gonna look at you. Where you go today? I, I don't know her. I don't know nothing about her. You been having a conversation. I don't know the lady. She on, she on your life, she, she ain't on my life, dog. She's on YouTube life. It, well, she on your YouTube life. Her room. This is crazy. Yeah, five minutes. Yeah, y'all. So now we about to get into the part where Henny breaks down all this paperwork. And once you break it all down or whatever, I'm going to come back at the end. Because I don't want to disturb Miss Henny when she's doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? So when she finished doing her thing, I'm going to come back at the end and give my some more commentary. But I had to break the commentary up on that right there because these niggas are some fucking weirdos, bro. Like, they want to play games. They want to... This nigga talking about his media team is telling him to strike our channels and shit. This nigga just struck our channels and everything, thinking nigga's channel's gone. But, nigga, we just pulled a Hassan on you. We just pulled a Hassan on you. And also, we're going to pull a Deuce Ams on you. Because you, cop you said that you own videos that we made. You say that you own you own reaction videos. So I'm ready to go to court for my videos. That's why I already told YouTube, so because I don't see nowhere where you own anything. Your voice don't make a difference if you're on Clubhouse because Clubhouse is a recording app. That's why it has replays, dummy. And I also let him know about Mr. Tuma. <laughs> he gonna have you gonna have a Tuma once Deuce M's take this money from you. Y'all know the routine. Like, share, subscribe. Let Miss Henny do her thing. Let's go. 
Shay Shay, a little Jason Lee-ish kind of interview. It was almost three hours long. But it was great information. If you don't know who Dusems and Yael are, you don't know anything about them, you can find out about them by watching the video. But last night, remember we was talking about the documentary, right? <clears throat> that Deuce did on WAC. And when we talked about the documentary, we was talking about how they had it taken down. So I'm going to play a little clip and then we're going to get into the Henny because <laughs> stay put because you, 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 you don't want to miss this. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. So uh, we dropped Big U and them did me a big solid. They said we're not going to release it. We're checking in or uh, uh, what you call it is going to be a world star premiere. Register it, which I did that day that it was uh, released. Register it, copyright and protect it. You get all the money from the documentary. We just want to help promote it to get the truth out. I said, damn, right? <laughs> they put the video up on World Star Hip Hop. First day, a million views. Second day, another million views. The By the fourth day, we was at three million views. And WAC 100 somehow had somebody take it down. I never received a takedown notice, no no notification or nothing, and we will be pursuing all of our legal remedies sooner than y'all think. Trust and believe that. But so, if y'all remember that conversation last night, well, I got the receipts for y'all. Mm -hmm. And Henny's going to pour the hot Henny for you. All right. First, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my watermark up, whether y'all like it or not. The watermark is going up because I don't want anybody stealing this information. So when he spoke about getting taken down. Share this tab. This is a copy of the YouTube notification that he received. Okay. And um, this is for uh, unveiling the controversy, WAC 100 and Stitch allegations with Do Sims and Yalau. So this is saying that they basically went ahead. Let me go to the first one. Here we go. This is the one we want. Here we go. This was what we want. Boom. So it tells him in this request from YouTube that they're taking down the video, right? It, they re-released the video. They took the video down. But do y'all see this name right here? It's saying that this person is hitting the channel and requesting removal. And that person's name is Cash Jones, okay? They also are claiming um, a portion of the video from the clubhouse, okay? And... This is telling you that he received a copyright strike from this. The video was then taken down, okay? This is the original video, and it said that he basically submitted a dispute to them, and yeah, it was a no-go. However, comma, remember last night he was saying that he had the patent? Here it goes right here. This is... Certified issued under the seal of copyright office in accordance with Title 17 U.S. state codes. And what does that say right there? WAC 100 and the snitch allegations. And it was copywritten 127-2024. Hmm. Interesting, right? Because, hold on, y'all. There's no date on here. All right. So it's interesting because how can you say that this video was taken down for any type of copy written content when he patented the information. It's patented under the US law. Y'all see the documentation for yourselves right here. It's copy written. It is copy written. So he owns all of the rights to said video, okay? Now, I also want you to divert your eyes to this right here. I have redacted information to protect the privacy of others. So as a result, if you remember, last night, Deuce was saying that there was a lawsuit that was going to be impending. Well, baby, here it is right here. He is submitting this 
legal this documentation to the attorney for Cash Jones, uh, YouTube, and also to Met, uh, Media Labs as well. And it is regarding copyright infringement of film whack 100 and the snitch allegations copyright registration patent he puts the patent number on here but we're going to get into exactly what this says okay so it says to whom it may concern this corporation represents active chucks ent and mr lamonte sims aka do sims mr sims or copyright claimant is what he will be called moving forward mr sims owns and or controls the exclusive rights to the film whack 100 and the snitch allegations which will now be referred to as the work copyright registration number is there on or about February 13th of 2024, Mr. Sims registered the copyright for the work. Please find a copy of the registration attached herein as exhibit A. And that is the this form right here that I showed you. Um, there is some information that has been redacted out to protect privacies, but this right here, let me let me go ahead and show y'all. This is exhibit A in this letter. All right. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. let me get back to where I was. All right, so let's get back to this letter. All right, so y'all seen exhibit A. Mr. Stems does not uh, authorize the display of the video, including the work, because there are other people that are using this video. It has come to the attention of Mr. Sims that your company has created, distributed, rented, sold, and or displayed the documentary, which contains an excerpt of the work. Claiming ownership of the documentary was not authorized by Mr. Sims or anyone associated with Mr. Sims. This resulted in a direct copyright infringement. Now, pause. Let me ask y'all this question. How can you take my original body of work down that I own the copyright to hit me with copyright infringements, but then allow other people to use my body of work and monetize it at the same time? So they making a point off my work that I can't make a point off of? Penny glasses in the chat if you agree that that's some BS type of backwards working right there that's being done. But let's continue. It has come to the attention of Mr. Sims that your company has created, distributed, rented, sold, and or displayed the documentary, which contains an excerpt of the work, claiming ownership of the documentary, which is not authorized. Okay, I already read that. Mr. Sims demands that you immediately cease and desist the distribution, rental, sale, and or streaming of the documentary, WAC 100 exposed for being an alleged federal informant documentary. Please be advised that taking down the work as infringed does not absolve you of liability. This demand is privileged from disclosure pursuant to FE, FRE Rule 408. Please provide this letter to your general liability carriers or other providers of insurance that may cover this claim. You have made wrongful and unauthorized use of the work constituting an infringement of Mr. Sims' copyrights in violation of the United States Copyrights Act 17 USC Section 101, um, as well as other common law and statutory rights by reproducing, displaying, distributing, altering, and otherwise commercially exploiting the work via, at minimum, the infringed use of the work. This unauthorized use of the work may also constitute knowing willful and flagrant violations of Mr. Sims' rights in and to work, uh, in and to the work and make you subject to the many remedies available to Mr. Sims, including without limitation, an awarding of damages, statutory damages if applicable, payment of attorney's fees if applicable, and the, in, and the entry of immediate permanent injunctif injunctified relief. <laughs> I almost jacked that up. <laughs> Additionally, as mentioned above, Mr. Sims registered the work with the United States Copyright Office and upon information and belief, all such registered predate the infringed use or unauthorized claims to interest, to interest into the works. So that means that all of these, his copyright was done before all of this infringing happened. So it's not like they could say, oh, well, you copy wrote this after. No, he copy wrote this before. 
before he even put the work out. Furthermore, you have wrongfully distributed a documentary in violation of 17 USC 1202 by failing to properly credit Mr. Sims as the copyright holder by illegally authorizing Lab Engine and or Cash McElroy Jones to collect royalties and monies in in relation to this documentary. Now, what he means by that? Let me see if I can pull this up really quickly while we talk about it, because I know some of y'all may be scratching your heads. Now, the reason why uh, whack is brought up in this situation is because whack is the reason why all of this began in the first place. OK, um, let me go ahead. I can pull that up. I have pulled this up and let's get to it. Let me see. Let me share this. All right. So this is 30 weeks ago. No jumper. OK, no jumper posted about the documentary that was put out. But as you can see, here are some text messages that were also released and says, Cash, our draft of the demand letter to World Star Hip Hop is below. We do not typically put an initial dollar amount in a letter of this type and have not included a demand here in the first letter. Instead, we will need to respond within a week or we will supply, we'll simply proceed with litigation. Additionally, for a variety of reasons, we do believe it is appropriate to demand a retraction in the instance, okay? So we have included a request for correction. Please let us know any comments you may have to the letter once the letter is approved by you. We can get it out for service. Thank you, Thomas. Now, here is um, here is a copy of this said letter that they put out, all right? And I'm not going to read all of this letter, but basically this is the letter that Wax submitted for World Star Hip Hop to take this down. And that's a lot, all right? Maybe I will clip it up and put it up on the community wall for y'all to read at your leisure, but I want y'all to also take notice uh, to this right here. It hit 1 million. Have someone check it to confirm. So he was watching. He was watching how many views this documentary was getting. Okay, we can update the numbers right now on YouTube. All I'm seeing is 145,000 views. All right. It says, OK, long as we hit them with a real number, this shows over a million views on World Star Hip Hop. So he was watching the views, watching the views, watching the views. All right. Now. As you watch them continue to scroll, I want you to pay attention to some of the verbiage that begins to come out, because then it's going to show you what they're after. All right. So he's saying, you know, the detectives on the case are accessible as well for interviews, um, crime being. Is, uh, so, you know, he's asking questions about being a crime to be an informant. We have access to all the detectives that will confirm. Let's get paid. Let's get paid. Now, that to me tells me that that's been your motive this whole time is that you want to receive some type of monetary gain off of this. And it's not really a matter of you feeling like you have been wronged in such a way that is slandering. Oh, shoot. Your name. Wait a minute. It didn't show y'all the text messages. Hold on. Wait a minute. I could have swore I was showing y'all the text messages. Oh, I am showing y'all. Okay, so we was showing, I was showing y'all. Um, but yeah, this is not about, oh, you, 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 you sitting up here defaming my name. No, this is about him wanting to get money. He wants to be compensated monetarily. So yeah, Deuce is coming after him. Now let's continue with the letter because uh, we're almost done, I promise. All right, so. This is where we left off. Thus, not only has Mr. Sims not been properly identified as the actual copyright holder, label engine, 
and Cash Jones have fraudulently claimed copyrights to YouTube, striking Sims' YouTube channel Active Chucks, resulting in Sims suffering additional damages. See Exhibit B. So I have shown y'all the exhibits. We've already seen the YouTube information and all of that. Demand is accordingly made that you and all of your agent, affiliates, or licensees, one, immediately and permanently cease and desist from the reproduction, display, distribution, and other experiences exploitation of the work, both physically and digitally, and any other unauthorized use of Mr. Sims owned and or controlled property, because that's what this is. It's his property. Uh, two, immediately provide our office with all documents of all licenses, agreements, and other authorizations, if any, by or pursuant to which you claim any rights to reproduce, display, distribute, or otherwise exploit the work. B, the identity, including the names, addresses, phone numbers, and email addresses of all parties associated with your use of the infringed work, including without limitation, the individual who initially posted the infringed work on your website and all other vendors, persons, or entities involved in the reproduction, display, distribution, or exploitation of the infringed work. So he wants the names of everyone who has used his body of work. Don't leave no one out. I want to know who these people are and how I can contact them because they are wrongfully using my work. And he's within the scope of his legal rights. Okay. C, copy of all accountings, books, records, and statements related to the reproduction, display, distribution, or other exploitation of the infringed work, including without limitations, related to the infringed use of the work. So he wants to see everybody that has made money off his work. Again, he's not wrong. D, a list of other users of the work exploited by you or your affiliates and copies of all web pages, videos, advertisements, or other materials related to the same. God, he, he's hitting them. Okay. C, any representation of all activity, whether commercial or non-commercial, with respect to the infringed work, ceased immediately upon receipt of this correspondence, if not prior thereto, and with not and will not be resumed in the future, absent written authorization from the copyright claimant, which means no one else will be able to put that information out unless they have written authorization from Do Sam's himself. <laughs> you know you didn't fuck that, right? <laughs> you the best with the wrong one. F, a representation uh, that the information furnished to our office pursuant to the following is true and accurate. Three. Permanent preserve, permanently preserve any and all documents and records relating to this matter, including without limitation, all physical records or electronic data, which may be relevant and or discoverable in the event of litigation, meaning do not go getting rid of none of these receipts because we may need them later. The failure to preserve such information pertaining to this matter will be considered exploitation of evidence and could subject all applicable parties, applicable, applicable, honey, <laughs> parties to additional criminal or civil liability. So in other words, you go ahead and get rid of the receipts if you want to, <laughs> and I'm going to sue you there. All right. Um, now let me come over here to the chat real quick. Because I believe I saw Active Chucks is down here. I saw Smoked Out TV. Salute to the team that is up in the building. Um, Active Chucks, give me a henny glass and a chuck if it's okay to continue. Because I know this is going to disclose the amount that you're going after. You know, I know it was up on the screen. I can still edit that out. But do, is it, it? give me a, a, a henny glass and a chuck if it's okay to proceed with the documentation that I am reading. Oh, yes, he's he's going to bed. Rat 100 going to bed real soon on multiple counts of fraud, including tax evasion. He's going down. All right. Damn deuce. Um, tried to get paid off your work. All right. He gave the green light. So we're going to proceed with the reading of everything. Uh, again, shout out and salute to the team. <laughs> 
<laughs> Shout out and salute to the team for holding it down in the chat. All right, so let's continue this off. All right. So number four says make payment to Mr. Sims in the amount of five million dollars. Okay. Pending review of a complete accounting of the books and records according uh regarding the exploitation of the infringed work. This correspondence is a confidential state settlement communication and is not intended to be a complete retraction of the facts or circumstances relevant to the matter. Nothing herein will be deemed an admission or waiver of any of the copyright claimants' rights or remedies. All rights and remedies are expressly reserved and non, none are waived. All right. So this is the letter signed sincerely, do Sims. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Sincerely yours, do Sims. <laughs> yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, when they were on last night, he told you that this is what was going down, and Henny got the consent tonight, and this is what is happening. Okay, do Sims has filed suit against the media outlets and against WAC 100 who have tried to stop his bag for putting this information out. I also just showed y'all that this is not about defamation of his character because you can actually go to that no jumper post. And what I'll do for y'all is I'll see if I can get the link to the post and drop it down in the comment section. Um, someone in the Henny PIs or the Henny snipers remind me to drop the link in the description. Y'all can go and read through those um, texts for yourself that were posted on no jumper you will see nowhere in there is he so concerned about the defamation of his character he's talking about getting a bag he's watching their views so that should be another thing that shows you what this is really all about <laughs> but where you fucked up at old duty shooter and i know i shouldn't have said the f-bomb but we are 24 minutes in so i should be good is you wasn't expecting for him to have that body of work copy written. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, let's see what some of y'all are saying down here in the chat before we get up out of here. Cause you know, your girl got the, I got to I got to dash up out of here. I got to go get the bag. All right. So this is about where I stopped that at release the documentary. The documentary was already released, Selena. And, um, they snatched it from do Sims. So now there's other people that have put pieces and snippets of the documentary out, but yet they're not being hit with copyright infringement at all. So how is that even possible that you're going to allow me? I'm a person who doesn't own the copyright, although I could get permission. How could you allow me to play snippets and clips of the said documentary that was hit for copyright infringement from the copyright owner? But you could allow me who has no relation to the material, no copyright over it at all to play it on my channel and I can monetize it and I can make money off of that while he gets not a dime because y'all won't let him put it up. Make it make sense, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Salute. I'm definitely reacting to this. There y'all have it, man. Henny done broke it down completely. CS2 back. Wack 100. Whoever you want to be. Or whatever you are. Tranny lover. All kinds of weird stuff going on, buddy. But, uh. Yeah, man. Y'all know the routine. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And, uh. Shoot, we just waiting for Deuce M to hit that five mil. Hashtag ETE. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shout out to the team, though. Damu Keyway Conversations. That girl, Henny, most scandalous Los Angeles. And me, Smoked Out TV. And I'm out. Peace. Thanks for getting lit with us on Smoked Out TV Reactions. Remember, the fun doesn't stop here. Hit that subscribe button and join our high-flying community for more smoking hot reactions and good vibes. Until next time, stay lifted and keep the good times rolling on Smoked Out TV Reactions.